Hello everyone. We are going to set up Ark Survival Ascended. It's really easy. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to install Windows GSM. If you don't have Windows GSM, there'll be a link in the description to my webpage where you can download it. Now I've installed this and tested it. So we won't have to sit through any of the downloads. When you pull up Windows GSM, it'll be like this. You won't have ARC in your list. What you'll have to do then is you'll have to add a plugin. Now, the plugin is very easy to get. Also, in that same page, there's going to be a link to the plugin. So you'll go to the plugin, you'll download a zip file. The um, link goes to GitHub and it shows you pictures of how to get the file very easy. Once you've downloaded the file, you're going to click this little puzzle piece and you're going to import plugin and you're going to click on the zip file and you're going to open it. And when you do that, it's going to be listed right here. Then you just click on plugins to close it. You're going to go to servers, install game server, and then you're going to select the plugin out of the list. You're going to give it a name. Now, this name only is what shows up here. So you might call this one Ark Survival the Island. Um, and then later you can add uh, the next expansion and you can should will should be able to link two maps together now if they've fixed their servers up which they said they did then you're going to click install it's going to install everything it needs after it installs it's going to be the latest one on the list of course if you've done this before you won't have any trouble uh in this case here, it's my newest server, number 11. I'm going to edit the config. Now, I like to turn off BattleEye. I don't need it because I. this is my private server. So to turn off BattleEye, you just have to add this command, which is also on the page. The port numbers are on the page. Set your um, server max. And here is the name that will show up in the ARC server list. And then you're going to click Save. And that's it. When you run your server, you'll start. The server will come on. It'll do its checks. If you want to update the server, there's update right there. I just did this to update the server a minute ago. When they came out with a new version, it's all working. That's it. It's very, very easy. If you prefer the traditional method of editing a server, then I have those instructions on the web page too. If you toggle the console here, you can see the server is starting up. So far it's taken 25 seconds, but it takes a little bit longer. Shouldn't be, well, it just, it's a new download. Okay, so now the server name is there. So it's, it's running. Spawner failure, yep. That's pretty normal. That's it, super simple. Depending on your download speed, that's going to be your biggest, um, your slowest thing to do. I'm going to also have a video on the configuration files. But that's it, people. Go download you, set you up a server like you used to have with Arc Survival Evolved and tweak those settings.